is going on guys, it's Can WM. Today we are back doing episode 5 of our JWM career. My brother plays for Crystal Palace under 23s in real life. So we are going to be doing this in FIFA. Let's get on with it anyway. The first game up is going to be against Newcastle at home. Three points are expected here. Newcastle, they're not that great of a team at the minute. They're down near the bottom of the table. Jack should be starting on the left-hand side of midfield and he should hopefully get maybe a goal or an assist. We've got to hope for at least something. I mean, if you've already seen the thumbnail, you know a goal is coming in this episode, but will it come against Newcastle? Who knows? Let's have a look at the match objectives. So the match objectives for today are going to be 7.5 rating, one goal or complete uh, 10 passes in the opposition half. I think I'm going to go for a score, at least one goal. So I'm feeling very confident just to start off with. The first challenge comes in the game and it's a brilliant challenge. Taking him out. No messing about at all. He gets, he gets, oh, it's going to be a yellow card, unfortunately. Um, I think we've got more yellow cards than we have actually assists this season. But, you know, we move. It was definitely a clean challenge. I don't know what the ref's talking about anyway. Now we're moving on to the next highlight of the game. Quick little pass in here. Look at his pull over the top. Into Zaha. He's through on goal. One on one. No messing about. Got to finish it. And he's missed it. The strikers for Palace are just not good enough. I swear to God. We're 17 minutes into the game and they've already missed a big chance. Ball comes into me here. And there's no messing about. We've got a hit. And it's going to go. Oh my God, it's gone top corner. We scored. Our first goal in five episodes, and what a banger it is. Hitting them with a little sunny celebration as well. Let's go. Yes, what a finish. I'm going to put this on every replay. I do not care. Look at this. Touch out of feet. No defender comes close because they know we're not a threat. Then he puts it in the top corner. Top left-hand corner with the left foot. No defender comes close. What a goal that is. The first goal of our professional career, or Jack's professional career, so to speak. Patrick Vieira is loving it. The bench are loving it. Everyone's going crazy. What a goal. And that is our first goal in nine matches and our first goal in professional football. You knew it was going to come eventually. And I hopefully Jack has his like in it as well. I haven't got his comments yet, but he'll be there. we in this video somewhere. Now on to the next clip now. And we're moving the ball about again. And it's going to be another shot for Edward and he doesn't score. This is why I have to score because well, Jack has to score because the strikers can't score. Now we're moving into the and next part of the game. It. Touch me outside. Time again. We're going to go for it again. Well, and it's oh, all just wise. Why did the history repeat? The fans are just, oh, what's going on? Steve Bruce. He's not there anymore, but still. Now we're moving into the next highlight here. We're driving with the ball, we pass it into Wall Hughes. He's going to bang it, and he puts it in the top corner. Two midfielders, one in the left hand corner, one in the right hand corner. A goal and an assist for Jack WM. He is smashing it so far. You know, that, that little pass in there just set it up perfectly for a first time hit for Will Hughes into the top corner. No messing about. And we are 2 0 up against Newcastle as expected. Um, as I said, now moving into the next highlight and Newcastle coming back us here into Wilson and he puts it into the back of the net and it is 2-1 with five minutes to go. Very tense stuff going on here as we're trying to push for a third goal. It's Zaha, it's me, into Edward, into Zaha. He finishes it off and the crowd are going wild as Palace get the three points. I mean, it is 3-1 against Newcastle. I don't think you need this much celebration. I think it's just because it's the 90th minute or something on FIFA. But we have got the win over Newcastle definitely now with Wilfred Zaha scoring the goal. The fans are going crazy because we beat Newcastle 3-1. <laughs> um, but still, the game ends there and we have got a goal and an assist to go on this game at Crystal Palace, our first game of the episode. So we're going to stat sheet. It's going to be an eight-match rate in 93 minutes played. A goal, an assist. 23 passes completed and 13.7 km covered. You look at that little stat there, top corner. That's, that's just can't, it's even out of the post, you can't even see that there. Look at that, it's incredible. Gonna have a little, another little highlight of our goal now, and that is just, that is, oh, dirty. We get the man of the match award as well. Look at that. Hey, there you go, plus 25 and the man of the match award. We are moving now. That is probably the best game we've had in five episodes. A goal assist. Man of the match, and now we're into our next game against Southampton. This is going to be an EFL Cup, so it's going to be a bit of a different game away from home. Southampton, obviously, a very, very good side um, in round four of the Carabao Cup. I don't know why they've got the flares going. I don't really think there's something that happens at Southampton. But anyway, let's have a look at what they want us to do, the objectives they want us to complete. 7.5 match rating, get at least two goals or assists, get score at least one goal. I mean, we've just got our first goal. Let's not try and kill us. Now we're moving with the ball again. We're hitting him with some ball rolls. This is some nice football here. Just dribbling him around James Ross Palace like it's nothing. We're going to play the ball into... I think that is Zahar. That is Zahar, actually. Or it might be Edward. It's Edward. Sorry, guys. It's Edward. Um, he's put it into the back of the net. They've got like, the same haircut in this game, and it's stupid. But anyway, Edward gets the goal, and we are currently now winning 1-0. A great challenge there on Torres. We have absolutely taken him out, and it's good. Nice tackling. We're on an 8.2 rating at the minute. Now Torres gets the ball again, and he's going to put it in the top corner. Yes, he is, and it's now 2-1-1. Not great there. I probably should have done better in the midfield. That was on my side. But what can we do? 
Now we're driving inside. We're trying to look for a pass. We're passing inside again. And they're in on goal. And oh my god, Zaha stay on side, man. Here we go again with the next chance. We're looking for a move, but Zaha is always going offside. But this is great movement from Palace into Edward, into Zaha. And it's now 2 1. We've got a win goal with 12 minutes to go. And that might be us into the quarterfinals of the EFL Cup. Great bit of movement from the Palace boys there. Now we're moving here. And it's going to be Edward again into me. And into, oh my god. I actually took the ball off Will Hughes. Jack just took the ball off Will Hughes there. I mean, just wanted another goal. Wanted two goals in two games. But we win the game 2-1 and it is another assist for JWM. Edward and Zaha getting the goals. Great little win there from the Palace boys away from home as well. Um, what can you, else can you say? Into the quarterfinals of the cup, baby. Now let's look at the stat sheet. Uh, I think it was a pretty good game stat-wise. You know, one assist again. We just stat padded now with Bruno Fernandes last season. Uh, 7.6 rating, 0 goals, 1 assist, 30 passes completed and 14.1 distance covered. That is a very good game from us. Uh, we get a plus 5 in the match rankings, so that's pretty good as well. We didn't get anything for the scoring or goal involvement. Now we're into the game against Manchester City, the champions from last season. This is going to be a huge game. We need the three points here, but I think it might be tough to come by. I take a point against these guys. Now we're going into the game. Let's have a look at what our objectives are going to be. Um, hopefully they're not too difficult. Like gets fucking six goals or assists or something. Uh, they're pretty much the same. Seven match rating and get at least two goals or assists or get 60% possession. We're driving now down the left-hand side and we are running Zinchenko into the ground. He's got nothing on us. We put the ball into the box and it's a little bit of a mistake by the City defender. And it's in. I think that's just Raksaki. Raksaki has scored. And I, nothing came up for an assist though. That, that should be definitely be an assist. I don't get how that's not an assist. Because you, it's not being given an assist. How is that not an assist? It, this is, oh, we've gone for a shot. Oh, I should have the bar. I'm still, I'm still baffled how that's not an assist. It should have three assists in three games here. Uh, what, what else can you do? Here we go again, and the ball comes into the box. It's into JWM, and he's put it over the bar. Oh, two chances already in just 10 minutes. Should have scored at least one of them. We're moving the ball about here. We're trying to get rid of it. Oh, that's stupid. And Sterling's in, and he absolutely, well, fair play. That was a great strike from Sterling. It's now 1-1. We were pissing him out of in defence. Probably our fault. And they're in again here with De Bruyne. Oh, he's put it wide. Jeez, I expected him to score that one. I think so did he as well. Now we're going into it. Last minute. It's going to be Mahrez to chip it in. And it's going to be off the line. Oh, my God. Palace are saving themselves here. What a block and what a clearance off the line from the Palace defender. As we're trying to push for a counter. But that is going to be it. And it's going to be a point away from home at Manchester City. Which is actually a pretty good result. 7.1 uh, match rating, 13.5 distance covered, 20 passes completed, 80% pass accuracy, and zero tackles because doing good. We get plus five as well, but the boys look pretty disappointed. Uh, Paddy Vieira looking a bit disappointed as well. And now we're moving into our final game against Wolves. This game, uh, I've already watched the game, um, but obviously I played the game. Hmm. Know, know that. And yeah, this is this is a barn burner. This one, this one's going to be a an interesting game. Um, so now let's have a look at our objectives here. Let's see what they want us to do in this game. Uh, make four interceptions, score at least one goal, and get 7.5 match rating. I think four interceptions is pretty much easy to do. Now we're coming to our first chance here, and it's a very very weak header. Just 10 minutes in, probably could have done better with that. Uh, now we're into 20 minutes here and we're driving again. We're looking for a shot and it's going to be very tame into the keeper's hands. We're getting a fair few shots lately, but they're not really doing a lot. Now we're into our next highlight here and the ball gets clipped in. It's going to be a header again. It's going to go in. Oh my God, it's gone just wide. And that is half time and it is currently nil-nil. Not a lot happening so far. Real Jimenez is trying skills. And he, oh, I'm sorry, Mohamed is trying skills. I didn't see it there. And, and the kick. referee anyway, blows the game ends for full time. That it's a share of the points here, game, but no goals on the scoreboard. Stuart, your overall brilliant. assessment. Um, well, Derek, but I've certainly seen better well. games, but I thought both teams defended really well at times. But the lack of attacking quality was all too evident. It's a really disappointing game. I think it was a pretty good game on the stat sheet. 7.4 uh, match rating, 15.5 distance covered, 32 passes completed. Accuracy was 80% and tackles were uh, 2. We get minus 15, which doesn't really make any sense because it was a nil-nil draw. But that is pretty much going to be it for the episode and probably for JWM series for the year maybe. I might chuck one in at the start of the year at some point. But you guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like the video. I'm sorry for some of the slip-ups. I'm just filming this one take, one only, because it's just a lot easier for me to film it that way. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please like the video, share the video, subscribe, and yeah.